A very good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to our channel, Mother Mary's Protection. Let us now listen to the word of God. This is Gospel reading for today, Gospel reflection and Catholic Mass readings for March 23, 2024, Saturday of the fifth week of Lent. First reading, a reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 37, verses 21 to 28. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations. And never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so that they may be my people and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever, they and their children, and their children's children, with my servant David, their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them and I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Thus the nations shall know that it is I the Lord who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Response real psalm, your response, the Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, proclaim it on distant isles. And say, he who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. Your response, the Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. Your response, the Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. Your response, the Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Verse before the gospel. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 11 verses 45 to 56. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Cephas, who was high priest that year, said to them, 
you know nothing. Nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest, priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation. And not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim. And there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another as they were in the temple area, What do you think? That he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel Reflection. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, what comes to light for us in John 11, 45 to 57? When Jesus approaches the tomb and calls Lazarus out, he demonstrates his authority over both death and the giver of life in this very instant. For four days, Lazarus had been resting in the tomb. His corpse was falling apart. But Jesus can raise us from the dead and he has authority over our decaying bodies. What exactly is decaying in our bodies now? Grudges, living a life devoid of meaning, purpose or goal. Negativity, rage, sins, bad habits, love and attachment to worldly possessions and many other things. Let's give everything to our Lord and Savior, Jesus. My dear friends, Jesus valued each person uniquely. The Good Shepherd, Jesus, is the one who calls his own by name. He called upon Mary Magdalene outside the empty tomb. He called Lazarus from the tomb and he called Zacchaeus down from his tree. For Jesus, the person held immeasurable worth. All of us are precious in the eyes of the Lord, who names us by name. My dear family of Mother Mary's protection, like the good thief did on the cross when he prayed, Jesus, remember me. He too wants us to call out to him by name. Prayer. Lord of victory and glory, grant that we as your followers will always be prepared to surrender our lives to follow your will, to suffer and die willingly in order to share in your triumph and glory through the cross. Amen. My dear friends, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.